Well, of course, we did tons of shows at uh, Not My Dog back in the day. We had a residency there. We could have a residency. I think in the span of a year and a half, we had probably eight to ten month residencies. Oh, yeah. I mean, everybody everybody was playing in a bar called Not My Dog. Uh, a lot of people had, you know, residencies there in our music scene. We were among them. Just a lot of fun. Small crowd, small spot, but very homey, excellent environment, very laid back. There's two rehearsals in the entire lifespan of this band. <laughs> one when we first had to record and got everyone together, and one before the album release two years later. In between that time, it was just not my dog. One of those places where uh, once you got the band in, you know, the room was full. Uh, a spot you wouldn't need to think twice about, you know, getting high at, you know, even on the patio, smoke cigarettes there. So this one time is I saw my dog with Marlon Chaplin in suitcase, and suitcase decides that he's just gonna do a fucking beer lasso. So he grabs his 12 way beer and goes, beer goes everywhere. I'm right beside him, and he looks at me and goes, ah cool, ah cool, ah cool, as I have beer dripping down my face. You know those rooms are great rooms to play in because you get to try some shit. Somehow, it became a tumor in my life, or I became a tumor within Not My Dog, I don't know which, which it was. It was super fun and helped. I wouldn't have played so much if it weren't for Not My Dog. Uh, of course, you know, nothing's permanent, as the Zen Buddhists say. And uh, it was just too good to be true, it was too good of a Toronto venue. It did not belong in Toronto, it was like too good for us. You know, the shame is that a lot of those places are closing down around town. Um, this just means we get to try less shit. See, the thing with Suitcase Sam is, yes, a lot of venues have been shutting down in Toronto, but I question whether he'd be allowed back to any of them anyway. So, that's probably a moot point.